Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this very busy Monday morning, we have a lot to talk about. There's a dense fog advisory out there this morning, but that seems trivial compared to our severe weather threat today, which is significant across the entire state. All of the state uh, has a severe weather threat with all modes of severe weather, including damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes. The farther north you go, the greater the tornado threat. We'll try to uh, bring you up to date on what we know this morning about what will happen and when and who has the strongest threat, uh, all of that. We have some great new information for you. Uh, please share this video with your friends and uh, stay weather aware as we go through the day today. Let's bring you up to date on what's going on, and we're going to really focus on today and tonight. So there's that uh, dense fog advisory covering much of central Alabama till 9 o'clock this morning with visibilities down to a quarter of a mile or less. Here is the potent setup now for severe weather in what could be a significant severe weather outbreak across our area today. In this orange area, let's say north of the I-85 corridor covering most of north Alabama, strong tornadoes are possible. Hail, tennis ball size or, or larger, damaging wind gusts 70 miles per hour or higher. Even south of that in the yellow area, tornadoes are possible. Golf ball size hail, 60 mile an hour wind gusts, and possible two waves of storms. That's why the time window has been expanded to a, from about 2 p.m to about 2 a.m. More on that in just a moment. But uh, it's going to be a busy day and a busy night ahead. Now, the strongest risk from the Storm Prediction Center of stronger tornadoes would be across the northern third of the state where the probabilities are as high as 10 percent. That doesn't sound like much to you, but boy, that is significant. Now, as we look at future radar, it doesn't look busy on the radar, but uh, supercell thunderstorms will be uh, getting organized perhaps as early as the early afternoon hours, and some of which will be producing uh, golf ball size hail and uh, maybe tornadoes scattered supercell thunderstorms there at four, the 4 p.m hour way that's wave one wave two is actually along the frontal area and it shows uh, pockets of uh, strong supercell thunderstorms along a broken line of storms moving southeastward possibly reaching central alabama between let's say at 10 p.m and midnight and then uh, moving into southeast alabama around troy and eufaula towards 2 a.m this is one of the parameters we look at cape or the uh, convective available potential energy. Uh, that is instability, and it's going to be very high across Alabama today. That's one of the parameters we look at. The other thing is helicity, or spin, or directional shear with altitude, and that's going to be high across the northern half of the state, but very high across the northern third of the state. So for most of us, possible tornadoes today and tonight. Golf ball size hail not out of the question. Damaging wind gusts 60 miles per hour or higher. Possible two waves of storms, one maybe early on in the afternoon and then uh, later on in the uh, the nighttime hours tonight. Strong storms by developing by the afternoon hours. Today's high around 80 with gusty southwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour today. Tonight slowed down to about 61. We'll take a peek ahead. I left in a 30% chance of leftover showers tomorrow. High 67, a windy day. Look at that, down to 40 on Wednesday morning. 36 on Thursday morning. Maybe not a freeze, but boy, that's, uh, that's cold. 72 on Friday and back into the mid-70s on Saturday. We're looking at uh, the GFS. We'll just uh, take a quick peek at this. It has us near 80 today. It has us uh, into the mid-30s on Thursday morning. Then it warms us up, oh, up over the weekend and in through next week as well. Our weather app, obviously, is going to be very important to you today with push notifications for severe weather alerts, plus the latest interactive radar and future radar and current conditions and a whole lot more. Uh, it's going to be your best friend today, so get it on your phone or tablet. Go to the App Store and search Rich Thomas Weather and pass it along to your friends too. So stay weather aware today and uh, when we uh, have to stream for severe weather and that's very possible uh, we'll, you'll be able to watch the live stream on your uh, weather app video and audio and also on YouTube as well plus we'll be across the dial on eight radio stations on the Blue Water family of stations and that's where you'll find my forecast twice an hour every hour uh, on Blue Water Broadcasting. So uh, stay weather aware today and get that weather app on your phone. Uh, it's going to be your best friend. And, uh, of course, we'll uh, talk to you later, and there'll be another video in the morning. Uh, depending on the situation, if I work late tonight, maybe there'll be a blog in the morning, but we'll get you some weather information. Okay, I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.